Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you uh, a different way to add a quiz to Moodle. Uh, the idea behind what I'm going to show you is that you can actually create the quiz questions and answers in a separate document and then import that document right into Moodle. It, it takes away a little bit of the uh, uh, tedious nature of adding a question and then adding each individual possible response and then indicating which one is correct and so forth and so on. So I'm going to show you the format needed to do that. So I'm going to turn editing on here. Now I'm going to go into our quiz section and I am going to first delete the sample that I used and now I'm going to add a quiz. Sixth graders may now dismiss from the auditorium. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to add in this case a quiz called Basic Computer Literacy Quiz. Okay, and this quiz will assess your basic computer literacy. Okay, so that's just the general quiz stuff. Um, I can open the quiz, close the quiz. I can do all the same things that you can do. I'm basically just setting up the, the quiz before I actually import the questions anyway. So this would be no different from any other quiz you're doing. I'm going to go to Save and Display so I can still be in the quiz environment. Okay. Now when I'm here, you'll notice there's a link for import. So I'm going to start by importing these questions. Okay. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Um, if I wanted to import a hot potatoes quiz, I could do that and then upload the file, and that would help with what I showed you with hot potato earlier. Um, and that, you would just follow the step-by-step -step directions. But I'm going to use something called the GIF format. There are all these different formats. Feel free to play with them. If you click here, it'll show you what these different formats are all about. The reason I like the GIFT format is it makes the most sense. Basically, you're creating a text document that has each question followed by a curly bracket and then the answers. Um, if you'll notice here, and I'll show you clearer later, the incorrect answers have a tilde in front of them while the correct answer has an equal sign. Um, there are different types of formats we could use. Uh, however, in this case, like you can see here, is an example of how you would enter one where you wanted the user to type something in and then be, be deemed correct or incorrect. Or a true false, you only have to put the false in all caps and Moodle will recognize that as true false and obviously give you two choices, true and false. So I'm going to import something in the GIFT format and I'm going to browse for the file. Now I happen to have this in my advanced Moodle folder called quiztest2.txt and I'll show you what that looked like. I created this earlier. I feel like one of those people on a cooking show who, you know, is showing you what they're doing and the, the, uh, the, the dish is magically, you know, ready by the time we want to show it. So this, this file has been essentially in the oven for the 20 minutes that it had to cook. Um, and basically, what I'm doing here is I'm adding a question, then an open curly bracket, my answers, and then the closed curly bracket. Again, the equal sign indicates the correct answer. A tilde indicates an incorrect answer. And I used one true-false question as well. Okay? So this was the file that I had saved. Now, I'm going to upload that file. Okay? Now it just shows me how they came out. You'll notice this is important because if, um, if you didn't put the spaces that I had in here, um, you notice the different, like I hit enter twice for each one to put a space. If you did not do that, then uh, it's going to all be listed as one question and you'll know that that does not look correct. Okay, so I'm happy with the way that looks. Now I'm going to go to the questions section. Okay, and all these questions, you have a few options. I personally want to select them all, which I could have done with that. And I want to put them in, basically right now they're set up as just a, in the general bank of questions for anything for this course. I know specifically I want them in the basic computer literacy quiz area. So I'll click on that and click move to. This just puts them where I want them so I can work with them. Okay, now I'm going to go to the actual quiz. This is where it seems a little confusing. Um, the quiz has no questions yet. So I'm going to now choose the questions that I want. In this case, again, I could select all these five questions and add them to the quiz. 
they show up over here. I could give them a different point value. I can deal with the maximum point and all that. I could save changes. Now I'm ready to either have somebody take the quiz or preview it. If I preview it here, here's my questions. All computers must have, in this case it's an operating system. I can either submit these one at a time or all at the end. <clears throat> okay. And I will answer the five questions. Let's see, which is not an output device. Hmm. Um, I'd say the keyboard. And which works as an input and output. I believe that's the modem. And an operating system, blah, blah, blah. I'll say true. And now I will submit all and finish. And it'll give me my score. If I were to submit them one by one, it would have given me a response right away. In this quiz settings, I also do have the option to, uh, to have them each come up on a separate page. So a lot of those options are no different for this type of quiz or any other. So I didn't go over those. Um, I hope this works for you and hope that you create a quiz in this format. Thanks and have a great day.